Okay, I decided that I would do my um, ISEARCH presentation uh, not in theoretical physics. And I always want to do this topic because, well, I've always wanted to know exactly how the universe works. Why does a chair need three, at least three legs to stand up? And why does, well, how was the universe created and why is the universe the way it is? In the uh, Department of Science, that is the cutting edge in trying to solve this mystery, is uh, physics, especially theoretical physics, string theory. Um, and my question was, what is string theory? What's its potential? And how does it solve problems between general relativity, which is Einstein's claim to glory, and quantum mechanics, which is Neil's, Neil Bohr's in his, his claim to glory? And um, well, I originally thought my the answer to the question would be string theory has the potential to be the ultimate theory, the one that the theory that describes everything in the unknown universe, every single phenomenon, why the way why the universe is the way it is. And as to why it solves the differences between general relativity and quantum mechanics, I thought it modified quantum mechanics to be compatible with general relativity and I didn't really know the details on how this was done. And first general relativity. General relativity is what Einstein created in order to describe how gravity works and how it affects everything. It describes all the big stuff, the planets and the galaxies and the stars. And gravity, what he found gravity was, was really a warping of a four-dimensional space-time now, four dimensions. It's up, down, side, side, forward, backward, and past, future. And if you can imagine, according to general relativity, you can imagine space-time as a flat piece of paper. It's featureless on the surface, but then it says it's not completely flat because gravity warps space-time. So if you look at the big picture of the universe, it'd be a piece of paper that's been stretched and twisted in a whole bunch of sorts of different ways. And what we feel as gravity is really just us traveling the path of least resistance along space-time. And quantum mechanics is a theory that is one of the most accurate that hum humans have ever come up with, and one that almost nobody understands. Um, what it describes are the small stuff, the subatomic particles in the, how the way the universe works at an ultra-microscopic level about the Planck length, which is um, point thirty two zeros with the one of a centimeter. And that's really, really, really small. Um, it describes everything that goes on at that level. And there's no such thing as a smooth space time. It's like you take a piece of paper and you twist it so that you have loops in the paper and it's warping and tearing and ran, completely random with no regard for anything else that's around. So left, right has no meaning. Up, down has no meaning. Forward, backward has no meaning. It can be two places at once and you can get somewhere before you actually arrive there. So time has no meaning either at that level. And string theory. String theory is the only successful theory to bridge the two theories because quantum mechanics always says no smooth space time and general relativity says it's naturally smooth and the two won't stitch together at all. And then you have string theory which says there are 11 dimensions and if the smallest particle is a string, that's a little tiny vibrating string of energy that's so small that no form of technology can see it. That we know of. And that's one of its weak points. There's no way we can test it, so it's a philosophy at the moment. There's no way we can really test that. And it bridges the two because it adds the 11 dimensions, which basically allows quantum mechanics, the quantum foam, which is what they call jittery space-time, uh, to calm down so that the two bridge together. General relativity and quantum mechanics bridge together perfectly. Um, and as I said, there's no really no way to test it. And what I found was that 
the I was right about the string theory being the like, potential being a theory of everything, but what I didn't know was exactly how quantum mechanics and general relativity were combined according to string theory. And that's my presentation. <laughs>